Hi guys, I'm Paul, and in this episode, I'm going to be comparing the Realme Buds Air with the Oppo Engo Free. A small heads up: if you want to see a detailed review about both these earphones, I'll leave a link in the description below, or I'll leave a card up here. Up here. Yeah, you can click up there if you want to see a detailed review of these earphones. And if you like what I'm doing here, feel free to leave a like, share. and subscribe to my channel before i start i'd like to say that these two earphones have kept me sane during the whole lockdown and wherever you are remember to sanitize your hands and stay safe so let's start off with these two earphones drivers the oppo enco free comes with a 13.4 mm dynamic driver it has a magnesium clad diaphragm and is also titanium plated and the realme buds air come with a 12 mm lcp driver The sound stage of the Encos have a bit of a space to them, maybe an inch out of your ears, which is surprising for little earbuds like these. The Realme Buds Air don't have much of a sound stage, but they do manage to do pretty well between your two ears. So there is a slight issue with the phantom channels with both these earphones, because with the kind of testing that I did, where I was going to and fro between each earphone, the Bluetooth was freaking out a bit. So the phantom channel was a little to the left or a little to the right. So the only way to fix this was to switch my Bluetooth off and on. Only after this did they reset and sound fine. The imaging of the Oppos is actually quite terrific. There's a terrific amount of separation between highs, mids, and lows. And if you're listening to a very good recording, it does sound as if there's a very nice headroom on the highs as well as the lows. Whereas with the buds there, it is easy to pick out certain details, but there is a sense of compression with this. The volume output of the Realme Buds Air sounds adequate at 50% volume, unlike the Oppo Enco Free, which needs to be at around 60% to be of equivalent volume. The Enco's high frequencies are handled with subtlety and sound composed, and not unnecessarily cranked up. The trebles sound quite easy and not piercing on the ears at all. Sibilances like uh, pops, clicks, uh, p's, t's, and s's, like uh, if you hear something like. Sally sells seashells by the seashore are uh, carried out with composure and don't split or break up. The Realme Buds Air high frequencies do sound a little tweaked. They do sound cranked up, but they don't sound obnoxious. They are easy on the ear, but you can't help but tell that they merge a bit into the mid frequencies thanks to the compression factor. The Enco's mid frequencies are slightly recessed compared to the highs and lows, which does let the music present itself a little better over the vocals. The vocals do push through the other instruments pretty well though and aren't lost. Deeper male vocals tend to sound a little more recessed than female vocals. The female vocals do tend to come through a little clearer than male vocals. The mid frequencies on the buds there are carried out well with vocals and instruments coming through effortlessly, but when you transition to these from the Enco's It's very apparent that the separation isn't as good as it could be thanks to its compression. There's a quality to the lower frequencies on the Enco's that trump the buds there any day. When you listen to these you realize that quality over quantity of bass is what really counts because it's so much tighter and much better defined. The bass doesn't seem compressed like on the buds there and it has a lot more body to it. Bass is punchy on the buds there with some body but it does lack quality. There is a sub low frequency you can hear in dance music but sounds recessed compared to the Encos. They do have a good amount of bass but here is a quantity not quality factor. The bass isn't tight like the Encos and tend to sound muddy after you transition between the two. The Buds Air case does tend to show a lot of scratches whereas the Enco Free thanks to its matte finish barely shows any signs of them. Both these earbuds cases offer USB-C charging. But funnily enough, it's the Realme Buds Air that have wireless charging. You'd think it would be the other way around. The Buds Air do not come with custom ear tips. The Encos do come with custom ear tips, and this does help you create a better seal between your earbud and your ear canal. This definitely makes a huge difference to how they sound. Both earbuds come with touch-enabled areas, but I prefer the Encos because they've got a larger touch area to work with. Using these comes a lot more instinctively if you've used higher-end headphones that have a touch panel. So in closing, the Buds Air really do hold their ground pretty well. At just three triple nine rupees, they've got a lot of features on the table, but where they lose out is their compression. A lot of frequencies merge into each other, so you can't really separate certain instruments from other ones. Unlike the Encos, the Encos do that extremely well. They still manage to sound fun though. You won't feel robbed of good sound should you buy these. 
but if you buy the Encos, sure they don't have wireless charging at double the price of 799 rupees. But if you're looking for better clarity and an overall upgrade from an older set of earphones, I'd certainly recommend the Encos for their overall enjoyment of music. So thank you guys for watching. I'm going to leave some of the links of some tracks that I listened to for testing these earphones and I hope you enjoy them. Touching your face.